Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar. And since then I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now this episode is really exciting for me, maybe even more exciting than launching Tally Ho because today we're going to be sailing the boat. And that's something I've been looking forward to so much for so long. Before we actually start sailing though, we've got to talk about the sails themselves. We've already talked about the mainsail and the topsails that were made in the UK, uh, but all of our headsails, those are the ones in front of the mast, are being made locally here in Port Townsend, and we're going to visit that loft and see them being made. Uh, but first of all, the actual panels that make up the sails are getting cut, and that's happening in a different loft where they have a special machine. Hello, I'm Megan Hudson. We're here at Port Townsend Sales. Today we are cutting the number one jib for Tally Ho. Um, Sean Rankins of Northwest Sales will be building the sail um, and we're doing a collaboration. We're using our gantry arm cutter from Autometrics. It's unique for a small loft, a, a loft of the size, to have a machine like this. But we find it's a really important part of our quality control. Okay, so this is our nesting program. Right. Um, so this is the designed sail right here in all of its parts and pieces, so all of these panels here. Um, you and Sean are going to actually build the patches traditionally on the floor, mm -hmm. so we don't have any of those extra pieces. So these are all of our parts and pieces that we're about to cut out on the table. Okay. What's that pump doing? It is a vacuum, so it's holding the fabric down to the table. What's the advantage of doing something like this rather than what would have traditionally been done, which is, I guess, drawing mm. and lofting and cutting by hand? Absolutely. It took up a lot of space and a lot of time, and then, unfortunately, a lot of use of one's knees. So it's easier on the body, and it's definitely more time efficient. Wow, that was pretty cool. What's that? Four days of handwork? <sighs> On the floor? Yeah. I mean, yes, because each panel you're putting battens on. Yeah. Right? And you take over the entire floor, right? Yeah. So then nobody else can do any of their work. So today I'm down in Port Hadlock, which is just a short drive from Port Townsend, and this is the location of the Northwest School of Wooden Boat Building, which is a really fantastic local institution that has been training a lot of boat builders for a long time. And we're here today to visit Northwest Sales, and their loft is in one of the boat school buildings uh, above a workshop. Northwest Sales and Canvas is owned by Sean and Inga. Sean is making our headsails, and Inga is also doing work for Tally Ho. She's making the sail covers and other covers for the deck. Hi there, I'm Sean Rankins. My wife Inger and I own Northwest Sales and Canvas. We've been in this location for 23 years and I got started in this industry in 1976. I've been following Tally Ho early on when she was down in Oregon, actually before she came to this country. When Leo first contacted us about wanting to work with us to build new sails for the Tally Ho, there was a lot of discussion about the rig. That was before the Ratchelapler loft got involved, but then certainly once they did, we got into sharing the design format between both lofts. This, the sail making process, first of all, you need to get your measurements. It has to come from the rig, that's the best. Once that's happened, you can start designing. We do lots of traditional layouts here in this loft, but we also do a lot of modern sail making design that's in our software. The first part after the design, you cut the sails. After that, 
is what we call the second layout, which is where you're attaching all the reinforcements. They could be the corner reinforcements, reefs, patches. And then after that, you're finally finishing up kind of where we are with all the head sails now, where you're closing in after all the reinforcements and you're doing the edges. So after that happens, most of the machine work's done and then it moves into handwork. That's the last stage. And sails like this can be parked in handwork for a while compared to some of the more modern sails that we make. These are all hand sewn rings and of different sizes and eyelets that we're doing with reinforcement. This sailcloth is made by Contender. We've been working with them for decades and decades and they make a lot of great sailcloth. And this is, happens to be their light cream, Fibercon Pro. And it's in different weights for the different sails for what the wind and sea conditions they'll be used in. This cloth is beautiful to work with. It's very traditional in its feel and its look. We chose to go with narrow panels in the design. It looks awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to what comes after all these years to watch her growing. And um, now a little bit nice to see her swim and sail. Right, well, we're still a little ways off uh, actually departing on any trips, but we do have a couple of charts. Whoops. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> this is SV Sparks McDougal. <laughs> Let's start again, shall we? <laughs> so these charts are a bit of a clue about where we're hoping to go. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to do it. So I'm sitting at Tallyho's chart table down below and in front of me I've got a nice traditional paper chart. And as well as paper charts like this and uh, pilot books and tie tables and so on, Tallyho is also equipped with an electronic chart plotter. So I'm, I am passionate about traditional navigation but I did decide that on Tally Home, it's going to be backed up with modern electronic navigational equipment. So we've got a PC that's mounted down below the chart table, and we've got this nice big monitor up here, and uh, we've got Time Zero software installed on it, which is a chart plotting software, and um, as well as showing the chart and showing the boat's position, uh, it can also display our radar, um, our depth sounder, and then there's all sorts of options to customize it and get the information that you want to make it clear because one of the um, most dangerous things about those small uh, chart plotter displays I think is you don't get a sense of the bigger picture. So I'm really happy to have this and I'm really excited to use all of our navigational equipment uh, once we start sailing. We still need to cut it shorter so... Oh okay. Yeah, we don't want to do that yet. Uh, Nick. The oars for the dinghy. So today we are hoping to go out for our first actual sail trial where we hoist sails and that's what we're preparing for. Um, there's a good bit of wind but not too much so pretty good conditions for it and we're just going to be trying to hoist our mainsail, our staysail and our jib. So just our kind of lower working sails um, and yeah just look for snags, look for issues, um, see how things go up, go down. Uh, maybe if things go well, we'll actually get a little bit of sailing in. Got me uh, about six feet. That one, I'm back to the double. I can yeah. double the, this one first. Oh, yeah. You guys are tricky. All right, so we're gonna go sailing, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, we'll head out of here in the normal way. We'll probably motor around a little bit while we get a few last things set up and then we'll find a nice spot where we got plenty of room all around us and 
head into the wind and slowly hoist the main whilst uh, lashing on the mast hoops. So that'll take a while. Stay saw next and then finally hopefully the jib. I mean, there's not a lot of wind but we are going to be heeled over to some extent. Lots of checks down below to make sure nothing's falling apart, breaking, check for leaks in the bilge every now and then, etc. Number one rule, as always, stay on the boat. Life jackets in the forepeak. Unless I say that we need them, it's optional. But if you're thinking about it, then just go and put one on. We all know to watch out for the boom. On this boat, that's a really serious matter. <laughs> Let's go sailing. Let's just lose everything apart from this one. Let's lose this one, please. Of course. You need somebody called that? No, I don't think so. So I'm oh. right off. I'm right off. Look man. at that. What? See what's going on, Leo? No. One of the uh, oh. one of those cleats for the gaff spans is hooked on a lift. Any more slack of that? There, there you is. go. There it is. Wait, read it so heavy, man. Alright. Can make that off? Yeah. Alright. Jump. Which Alright, we're gonna bear away, everyone. Alright! <laughs> wow. Hey, we're sailing. We're sailing. Yeah, the the ah! This really goes. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, the sail looks awesome. So good. So good. <laughs> Please. Ah. And if you got a tape measure, you can come measure this. Thing. Oh, Go ahead and hoist the staysail when you're ready, please. Okay, that looking better. All right, that looks like a pretty good beginning height for your your for your tack pin at there. That's working. It's amazing when it works. I mean, <laughs> Sean is on the phone right now. For fuck's sake, <laughs> he's perfectly on the phone. Uh, I'd say a lot more on the main. Right. Can I call you back tonight? Yeah, we're, we're just bending on, we're just doing our first sail at Tally Hold. Uh, we have a stop or not? Oh no, somebody reached for that hat. Man over, hat over. <laughs> Drill. We're gonna bear away a little bit and then tack. All right. I can see it. I got eyes on the hat. Are you gonna pick it up on the leeward side? Yeah. I'll get it with my foot then. Great. Woo! Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Should 
Dive ho! Alright. Alright, let's get the let's try and get the jib out. Holy smokes! Hey, there you go. Feel that breeze. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's really starting to look like a boat, huh, guys? <laughs> wow. It is a boat. Wow, is someone getting that shot with those mountains? Uh, oh, I have the zoom. Cool. Yeah. Feels good. How do you guys feel about jibing? Yeah. Let's jibe around and <laughs> chase them. Chase I them feel down. good about it. All right. All right, everyone mind your heads on the jibe. <laughs> yeah, bud. We're clocking now. Oh, Better when I have those webbies in the corners on that stone. That, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Oh my god. <laughs> That's about that my first real boat building mentor rebuilt in the UK and sailed across the Atlantic. No motor. Yeah. No, no, I did. Oh, yeah. that's right. You guys are buddies. Yeah. Yeah, and he's also advised me a lot over this build. That was like wow. Ashley's kind of first yeah. big project, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, We're flying right now. Oh. So here we are, we're sailing. I uh, really can't believe it, it feels amazing. Um, everything's up, the main, the staysail, the number one jib, and uh, she feels fantastic. Sailing really well, everything went up pretty flawlessly. A couple of minor hitches, but um, nothing major at all. Uh, needless to say, it just feels totally mad to be here doing this. Um, can't quite get my head around it, it'll take a little while to sink in I think, but uh, very, very happy. I'm trying to keep the angle of the gap the same on the way down. 
so that the foot is coming down evenly. <laughs> Everyone hold, Sean's got a phone call. Hollywood is Hollywood. Great seat trial today, guys. Excellent job, everybody. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, yes. Sorry, we don't have champagne flutes. Dude, all expectations were exceeded today. I'd like to say thank you to Daniel for the champagne. <laughs> hey, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Hey, cheers. I can sail about now. Cheers. 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 Look like a boat. Cheers. 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 Chin, chin, we gotta get in here. Chin, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mark. Cheers. Ah! So, pretty good. Ah, it tastes expensive. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, it was so special to actually sail Tally Ho for the first time. It still hasn't really sunk in, and I can't wait to get out there again. Now we certainly weren't sailing as fast as we could have been in those conditions. We actually don't have all of our head saws yet and we weren't ready to hoist our topsails so we were under canvas and that was part of the plan really. We didn't want to uh, overdo things on the first sail. Uh, but for the wind speed and the amount of sails we did have up I thought she was slipping through the water really nicely, really easily and um, she sailed beautifully. She was very responsive, tracked really well felt very balanced. The boat just felt really comfortable. The helm, although it's generally a pretty heavy helm because of the size of the boat and the size of the rudder, it felt a lot easier under sail than it did under power. Now, I know some of you will be curious about how we're getting on with our gearbox prop issue, and I am working on it, and we're coming up with solutions. I'll be talking more about that very soon. But for now, thanks a lot for watching, and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference it means we're able to keep on doing this work and it means we're able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.